Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Eiken and today we're going to continue our insane blind playthrough of Gears Tactics. So insane difficulty blind uh, playthrough. We have so far successfully done the first two missions. It is still going good. Uh, the heroes, the main characters, uh, Jack, Sid and Gabe are doing well. We just got Jack, uh, the map bot, or whatever we are going to call it, kind of the support uh, character. And today we're going to do Rough Justice, where we are trying to find the remaining um, Echo 5 members, Gabe, and two additional units are required. So I thought, why not uh, bring Sid as well? And uh, then we're just going to slot in Jack. I want to see how the bot is uh, working. Option objective, kill five or more enemies using rescued gears. So uh, that's kind of the justice portion of it, I suppose, or the revenge portion. Good. Sid and Gabe uh, now color coded and Jack over here are going to do that together. And we're jumping right into the action. Here we go. We've got a fix on the prisoners the grubs took. My bet? The sick bastards are processing those gears in torture pods. We've got to work fast then. Once we pull up, those grubs are going to start the kill timer. Clock's ticking on our people, so it's just us two. Full squad would only slow us down. Free those prisoners. Oh, wow. Enemies left to kill within rescued units. Well, we got only 15 time, turns. People. That's not a lot. That is definitely not a lot. I love it. Timed missions. People hate it in XCOM, but I always thought it, it just increases the urgency. Good. So let's get this going, shall we? Neither go over here or we go over there. I think we're going to take the right hand side first. Let's see. What does Jack do? Two skills Wingman, a status effect that improves shooting ability of an ally. Remember that you can apply Wingman more than once to the same unit, and Cloak will make Jack invisible. I like it. We're going to go with Cloak. Later, Jack. And Jack is just going to fly. Copy. Apparently he stays invisible, which is good. Waiting Let's order. charge up. And what are we going to do? Are we fully committing? I don't know. Let's... I want to get through that building here i think in the interior we are somewhat safe and we got the high ground becomes more difficult when injured immediately attacks if you get too close heads oh, up boy. grenadier inbound keep him at a distance that nasher means business oh boy okay what Good. Before we move Jack there, here. That's like two moves. Yep. And we can take a peek if everything is clear. Ah, that over here would be a good place to fight. Grenadier is here, so they might come up early. We could also move over here, and then eventually fight into the up uh, into the open i'm here not sure about the strength of this grenadier hitting the road okay clearly there are a couple of enemies already there
Jake moves up, and I think we're just going to hide him for now. What's next? Stay out of trouble, Jack. Okay, Diaz moves up as far as he can. I want to take that high ground and try to defend it. Get ready. All right, so that's that is the grenadier guy. Yep. We had been warned about distraction minus fifty percent damage. Yeah, we can't hit the grenadier yet. 12% chance, just too low. Copy. Could we move up here? Yes, but that could also mean that the Grenadier could charge up to us. Proceeding on foot. Good, we got... Uh, we got uh, the Empower ability, so we could shift an ability over. If need be. And if either of these guys is trying to move up, we would uh, directly hit them. Okay, so far so good. Let's increase his power and height. See ya, Jack. 25% still not good enough. Damn it. I got this area. Good. We're overwatching. That's going to be three shots. As they are certainly going to move in. Might want to rethink that. Ah, only one hit. This that was unfortunate. And the Grenadier begins to move in. This. Okay, cool. I'm here. Or not. <laughs> this time Appreciate I think we need Jack. all of uh, the buffs. 5 accuracy and 30 damage. Yeah, all 3 times, so that's plus 90 damage. Nice. 340 damage if we were uh, to hit them. Not sure if it also counts for the grenade. This here is helpful. A Your history. Watch it now. That guy now Grenadiers goes on to Berserk. Like they don't even feel pain. Getting low. All right, keep it going, keep it going. Need a reload. Time to hand over an ability. Time to up your game. Okay, that worked out well. On standby. Luckily, we have a sidearm. Hundred percent shot. Okay. Here. Nice. <laughs> nice. Alright, Diaz jumps over. We're covered here. And just make sure that that guy stays out of cover. Bring it, shithead. We are in solid cover over here. took 20% less damage so that in itself was good Let's mess them up. 
Acknowledged. But that's going to be a kill. And one that gives us plus one ability point. Action point, rather. Your history. Good, we're moving up here. It's a torture pot, all right. Grubs won't be breaking any gears today. I promise you that. Charging! And thankfully, that bayonet charge is just incredibly good. We have just taken Solid over his kill. position. Great. Two moves in order to get here. Now, now Diaz, what are we doing with you? 85% chance to hit. Check. Need a name check here. Yeah, you need a name check, that is true. He's standing in the open. How many more actions? Two. Okay, number one. Let's hit this guy. Should have potentially... Yeah, given him extra damage. My bad. I could have killed this guy. Later, Jack. Jack moves up here. Shit. Don't forget that kill timer. Gotta save everyone quickly. Yeah, I'm I'm on that kill timer the entire time. Alright, so wait. Stand by. Can we hit those guys? Good to go. No, we can't. Affirmative. What's our chance of hitting? 100% there, 89% there. Good. Check. We got approved. That's one. Nice one, Jack. I like it how they called it jacked up. Little nameplay there. Good, there we go. That's a solid kill. I'm here. Bayonet charge is not ready yet. Headed there now. Hundred percent hit chance. Oh, that was What's good. Next? There's a small chance that we could actually kill him. The other option is to just overwatch and interrupt him. I think in this case we're just going to try to hit him. One shot left. All right, they're up. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh wow, that was a lot of damage. Here, stick for you. Good, everybody gets sealed back up. And we're eventually killing this guy. Jack can't heal himself. We gotta be efficient with our action economy here. Since we're on a kill timer. Target down. Not your You or me, asshole. 
Good. We're going to take that crate. Do we have other crates? Over here, so three crates. One we already got. That's the second one. Where's the third one, though? Where is the third crate? Ah, right here. Okay, fantastic. Good. Can Jack open these? Welcome back, soldier. Nice. Grab a weapon. We got a heavy. Still got a fight ahead of us. Good. And as long as we always keep one act, you action unit uh, ready for him right. to Later, be invisible, I think that should work out well. Moving up. Got my eyes peeled. So far, so good. We're doing fine. Uh, the only thing that doesn't fully work out is Jack's help. He had been hit quite heavily. Him up. Enemy units incoming. It's another berserk, right? Yeah. Time to get cracking. Reporting. Standing by. Explosive shot. Shoot, if the target uh, kills the target, it explodes and deals 300 damage in a four in a four meters radius. Okay. That looks quite, yeah, looks good. I like it. Yes. Good. Jack buffed him twice. We're moving up so that we get that nice sweet high ground bonus. Ninety-five percent hit chance. Holy shit, that was good. On standby. All right, invisibility. Stay out of trouble, Jack. Seventy percent chance to hit. Not quite. We're going to hand over yet another turn. On the lookout. Thousand five hundred health. That's a lot of health. We got to be careful. So confirming a distracting shot. That means the guy is hopefully busy with attacking us and we're overwatching. That was a lot of damage. Lovely. I'm ready for this. Shit. Gotta focus. Okay. I did the basic mistake of not buffing him up. One. Sweet. Two. And we're invisible. See ya, Jack. Let's try this again with plus ten percent. Good. Very good. Yep, moving. Gonna show you Good. So far, that worked quite well. 
dead and gone. Enemies left to kill with rescued units one. Uh, so that grenadier here or that heavy still needs to kill one more unit. Okay now. Advancing as far as we can. Everyone, look sharp! Time to get to work. Six more turns. Jack got that case, and we're eventually going to get the last case with Jack as well. See you, Jack. Moving up. Waiting orders. Second pod's in range. Rescue commencing. I got this area. Good. We had to move in really, really quick because the kill timer still runs. They're in my sight. Oh, look at you. Smarty pants. Let's pick up the pace now. Time's running out on our gears. Good. That has solidly, solidly interrupted him. Let's do it. Can't really shoot him with the interruption shot, but I think we can do that. Yep, we can. Okay, cool. Good time for our chainsaw. Not a problem. You're done. I'm wondering if I have not given the chainsaw the necessary respect that it deserves. It's actually quite good skill. Coming through, assholes. Because it lets you reposition, right? I'm not still not sure how well that will work. Another grub down. Orders. Once the enemies are a bit stronger. Target is down. Good, everybody just reloaded. Reporting. I'm on it. Well, we were on a roll. That last breach worked incredibly well. Return to the APC. Well, we got everything. We got everything, right? Reporting in. Moving up. They're making a move. Okay. So let's see what we're dealing with. Lots of wretches. Five. Got locusts jamming our exit path. Clear them out. Time to get to work. Well, that's ten of them. I read you. On standby. Moving. All right, moving right over here. Okay. Moving right over there. Okay, now. And there, and over here.
Good, gotta be a bit careful. They will just try to swarm us, but thankfully Overwatch will likely help us. Too low chance to hit them yet, so Overwatch it is. I'm listening. Kill zone established. Good, very good. Here we go. Oh, that worked out well. I like that explosive shot. That's pretty good. I think uh, we're going to go about uh, 60, uh, 64 percent. Hmm. Let's still try it. That unfortunately didn't work out as I was hoping it would. But this, on the other hand, does. Moving into cover. That's a nice little hit. Uh, but let's give the kills to our main characters. Diaz moves up. That's a kill. And do we get another one is the question. 21%. You know what? Let's just overwatch. Setting up a kill zone. Heading out. Heavy on standby. Anchor is uh, anchoring shot is lost because we have moved. On but those guys just want to get into melee. Oh yeah, and we're definitely taking an Overwatch uh, zone Overwatch. here. Overwatch is really good. Three, three rounds in, and boy, oh boy, is it good. Good. That worked out super well. One. Good work, Jack. Two. Three. Tell your friend that. Good. Everybody reloads and everybody heals a bit. That's Advancing. great. Awaiting orders. Objective ahead. Good, end of turn. Raptor on the move. Time to get to work. Later, Jack. Jack moves up yep. just like everybody else. Moving. Affirmative. Support here. Keeping watch. Hey, let's see. I have no idea where they would be coming from. I'm listening. Affirmative.
But we gotta deal with them. Are these berserkers? Right oh, wow, well, okay. Yeah, they are berserkers. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to deal with them. Acknowledged. Okay. Well, see you later, guys. Well, good news is you're safe. The bad news, you're the last of Echo Five. Now, come on. We got a big mission ahead, and a lot of manpower left to find. Cool. Well, that worked out well. And we got quite a bit. So, wait. We got uh, this guy here, Jeremiah Smoke, and Quincy Tank. Rapid Mac. Um, common holo targeting handle. And a light barrel. Plus a lot of cases. I think that those case collections are going to be important. That's the loot that you are going to get. Yeah, and unfortunately we didn't level up, but those two guys started at level 2, and Gabe here hit level 3. That's great. The Rasa size has permanently increased to 5 troops. Cool. So we can now recruit them. Does that cost us anything? Another support. And another heavy. The heavy worked well, but it says here leaves in 2 missions. Yeah, we don't need another support, I think. Let's just keep that open for now. But we want... a bit more accuracy bonus on the weapon. That's good. Oh wait, we didn't even open all of uh, the chests. Yeah, almost forgot about that. Plus two ammunition, that is great. Hair trigger, we already know that. Untraceable is damage reduction against overwatch shots, that's good. So, let's take a look here. Plus two ammunition, oh, I would lo love that. But is, is it the best investment to put it onto him? He has four at the moment. Okay, fair enough. And if we maybe take this heavy here. Oh, I see. I see. The equipments, uh, the equipment mods are directed to a certain gun at the start of each turn this unit gets a 10 percent critical hit chance this effect ends the first time the unit gets a critical hit now nah, i think we're just going with more power more base power we're, we'll come back to him in a second okay there you go more ammunition better healing we already got that one we got the extra damage so well, that actually works out quite well. Advanced optics. This unit gets a 10% critical hit damage. Plus 10% critical hit damage. And 3% evasion. I think we're going to put that on him. It's not a bad idea. Because we want him to kill enemies so that eventually everybody else heals with his with his passive now we went all the way to weak point 
Uh, each ally gets 5% critical hit chance whenever he kills someone, so that is good. Teamwork was when he relied on someone else to kill. I like that. And this here gives a 20% damage boost for the entire round when he uses Empower. Good. We're almost at a power level 3 and lock and load, which both are fantastic. So far, that seems like the right decision. Quite strong skills. And for Jack, I might want to go into the extra actions as well. Right? So we would have one action point, duration three turns, deploys a shielded area that provides 40% damage reduction. That seems like a really, really good skill. Actually, sounds like an awesome skill. The whole defensive uh, thing doesn't sound bad at all. Remote reload. Allies within 7 meters um, reload their primary weapon. That sounds like a great skill as well. So, And then we would go into coordinated assault. Allies within 3 meters get 20% damage for each ally in the same area. So... When we're kind of clustering up, that would work very well. Extended Cloak isn't bad either because it saves us the ability point every turn to do, uh, to have essentially do it. Sniper aura, uh, aura, Alice inside that aura, gain plus 40 crit damage. This aura can be placed on Jack or a sniper area, uh, sniper ally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Support aura. Allies within the aura get cooldown reduction of one on all skills. Ooh. That plus the support. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that could actually be quite good. Each ally within seven uh, meters get, gets one action. So, yeah, we're, we're going down that route. Bit of defense. And full reload. Nice, very nice. So far, I am in love with uh, that extra, uh, with that bot here. Hair trigger. Yep, might as well give him that. Untraceable is good, but I think the thirty hit points that he has is slightly better. We want to equip one of uh, the heavies. Fifteen extra damage. Passive skill disrupt. Shots from this unit will knock back the target. Yeah, we're going to take that one and take it away from Tyrone. Seldom enough that Tyrone or Chet are getting something taken away from them. Good. Let's just color code him. And he could, he could really use this one. Does it say how long Tyrone will stay with us? No, it doesn't. Okay, and finally, our scout. She should uh, could get the passive swift skill. When this unit takes a shot, 5% chance to receive one action. That's actually like the hair trigger in XCOM 2. So yeah, so far so good. I am liking what I'm seeing. In terms of missions... The next one would be Gears take no damage on your turn. Okay, so that would give us rare armor. I like it. And we got a fight survivors 
Comstruck has picked up mysterious distress call, head out and investigate. And we will do that. We will do that quite soon. Of all 66 kills so far, a few executions, most kills in one turn, five. Looks good. If you are enjoying uh, Gears Tactics, uh, then give it a like and leave a comment down below. I'm certainly having a blast with it. Uh, it's such a nice game. I really like the pace of it. It's easy, com really comparably easier than XCOM 2 so far, but I don't want to um, praise that too much. Uh, the beginning of XCOM sometimes was easy as well. Uh, so yeah, let's see how, how much more difficult it becomes or if it's actually a reverse difficulty curve just like an XCOM. Good. Take care and see you in two days. Bye bye guys.